Hi, I'm Katherine Halstead. I'm from the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. I'm the medical director here and also lead spay neuter surgeon. Today I'm going to teach you how to brush your dog's teeth. Dental care is so important to a patient's overall health. It not only impacts their oral health, but also their liver, their kidneys, and their heart health as well. Well, it's important to get your dog used to having their mouth handled every single day. And so this is going to be a process getting your dog comfortable with sticking your fingers in their mouth and checking their teeth and gums. Making it a happy experience is, is number one. If you're going to be spending a lot of time getting your pet comfortable with putting your fingers in their mouth, you have to be really careful so you don't get bit. It's also important to protect yourself from any bacteria or parasites that may be in the mouth. So I really recommend wearing a glove while you do this and washing your hands with soap and water after you've worked with your pet. It's really important to get your pet comfortable with having their mouths handled initially. From there, you want to check your pet's mouth every single day if possible, looking for things like bleeding, masses, accumulation of tartar. If you're seeing any of those things, it's definitely an indicator to follow up with a regular veterinarian. Lots of treats, lots of treats before, during, after. Most pets really like the taste of the pet-specific toothpaste. We have, um, this is a beef flavor. Uh, this here is a poultry flavor. And um, most animals will find that works as a treat to make it a happy experience. But lots of praise, lots of treats before, during, and after can make it easier to, to brush a pet's teeth in the long term. I will use a little bit of pet toothpaste and just get her comfortable with rubbing her teeth and gums with my finger. That's where we start in getting our pet comfortable with the teeth brushing experience. Greenies and Nyla Bones are okay, and, and the abrasive nature of those products is good for breaking down calculus, um, but they don't get the full effect that brushing uh, does. Brushing breaks apart that plaque and that biofilm, um, so brushing really is the best recommendation. I, I wanted to tell you too, the, the reason I brought these out here to show you are, um, these are a really cool product that work well if you have a pet that's a chewer, but a pet that's also resistant to having their teeth cleaned. Products such as these are really cool and really helpful in keeping your pet's teeth clean. Uh, they have a combination of enzymes and also an antiseptic that create almost a sort of mouthwash while your pet chews. The important thing is to supervise your animal while they're chewing so that they don't swallow large bits of these um, rawhide infused chews, um, but I'm a really big fan of these for my own dogs. Brushing a dog's teeth can be tricky. Some patients are really wiggly, some are really active, some absolutely won't tolerate it. And so we've got a lot of different methods to go by. The size of the brush you select uh, is certainly dependent on the size of your pet. Um, we've got these options of these little tiny brushes for cats and for small dogs. These types of toothbrushes can be used for small, medium, or large dogs. The finger brush here can be used for any size of pet. All of these can be found at any big pet store. And then my personal favorite, which is the least expensive and probably the easiest to do, is the use of a gauze square. So again, we recommend you glove up. You can pick up gauze like this from any human healthcare store like Walgreens or CVS. You just wrap that gauze around your finger, add a little bit of pet toothpaste to it, and then you're gonna go back and forth motion, back and forth, back and forth. You only need to spend about one to two minutes and you only need to do the outer aspect of your pet's teeth. You don't know, need to go in between the tooth, tooth and the tongue. Yeah, 
just one to two minutes of good abrasion is all that it takes. One other thing I would mention is it's so, so important to use pet specific toothpaste and never ever use human toothpaste. The ingredients of human toothpaste can be toxic to our dogs and cats. Oftentimes, pets with dental pain will paw at their face. They may have swelling on one side of their muzzle or the other. They may have squinting and watering of the eye on that side. Sometimes you'll notice them dropping food when they're eating or a reluctance to eat crunchy food. If your dog has a serious dental issue, the best recommendation is to see your regular veterinarian because oftentimes those pets need a full dental cleaning with sedation and anesthesia, uh, pain management, and dental x-rays. And so if when you're doing your daily inspection of your pet's teeth and gums, you notice bleeding or a mass or, or an odor or a lot of tartar accumulating, it's really important to get in with your regular vet. So if you suspect a dental issue in your pet, it's so important to get scheduled with your regular veterinarian. Uh, a dental cleaning with dental x-rays, sedation and anesthesia are so important to properly diagnose the problem. We are beginning to offer wellness exams for dental services for pets and people that may not otherwise be able to afford veterinary care. It's a way that we can make sure that um, no matter what your income level, your pet is receiving the best possible veterinary care. We're so excited to be officially rolling out our wellness program, which does offer dental services such as cleaning and dental x-rays and exams and pre-anesthetic blood work, vaccinations, uh, preventative medical care such as heartworm testing and heartworm prevention, uh, routine blood work, urinalysis, radiographs, uh, and many other options. Thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, informational video from the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. Stay tuned for more videos in the future.